Next to face the sharks, an inventive bike mechanic with an illuminating idea. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. hey! hey! Hi! My name's Kerry from K-Light. How is everyone? Good. We're very <laughs> fine. Kerry. Hi, Kerry. As I said, my name's Kerry from K-Light, and I'm seeking a $50,000 investment for a 25% share. OK. I've been in the bicycle industry for 25 years, and in 2007, I made a fantastic discovery. A discovery that allowed me to produce the brightest dynamo light in the world. I spent five years developing that product for the cycling market. A turnkey solution that was fit and forget. Plug and play, just right away. <laughs> My test riders, they told me they needed a system that was very small and very lightweight. A system that offered unlimited power to not only run the brightest dynamo light in the world, but also recharge any device that you could carry. So I made them their system with full USB recharge. Simple one switch operation. We have 100 million bicycles produced every year, 100 million, yet no one is offering a turnkey solution. I am looking for a shark to help me bring cycling into the future with products we make today. Thank you. Thanks for your consideration. Uh, we're now open to questions. Okay, so why don't you show us your product so we can kind of understand it a bit. Can you... It is uh, very, uh, a little bit confusing at the start, so I'd love to show you, thank you. So this is a hub, and now the hub has a generator in it that produces power as long as you move. So when you cycle the bike, it's generating power, yep. it goes up to a light, and Correct. you don't bump into things. Now obviously, I'm not going to get the RP up on the carpet to see, but it'll give me a little bit of a, a heads up. I got it, right in the eyes. Oh, yep. sorry, darling. <laughs> yeah, so, so essentially... It's quite bright. Now, the discovery that I made, which I believe is, is great for the world, is I managed to extract 10 watts of power from this 3-watt dynamo hub. Right. G'day, Kerry. I, I, I'm Steve. How are you Steve? doing, Kerry? Where, where are you from, Kerry? I'm from Newcastle, Steve. Some good inventors come from Newcastle. Um, mate, 10 watts from a 3-watt hub. I'm going to call you on that one. How does that work? OK, I'm not going to get too technical. But essentially, I managed to load match the hub and it allowed me to produce a different power curve. So imagine a bell curve, mm -hmm. and that's a three watt bell just, curve. Just assume yes. I'm, a, I'm an electronics technician, which yeah, I am. I know you're an electronics technician. Okay, so. right, so. Yep, so um, I've load matched the hub, and it allows me to produce a resonant peak in the power curve. So, so you, you've only doubled the previous efficiency of a dynamo, and you've decided to power a bicycle like that. Correct. Okay, what do you make them for and what do you sell them for, Kerry? Parts cost me $50 and, and I make them myself, so that's, that's parts. All right, so prototype and, 50 bucks. Yep, 350 right. is what I sell them for. 350 bucks. Correct. Okay. It's a good margin. Kerry, can I ask yes. a silly question? Sure. For $350, what do I get? You get my flashlight. But I've bought a light for my son's bike at $15.95. And batteries aren't that expensive, so why would I go for $350 for yours when I can would just, you know? So the market that I'm actually 95. selling to at the moment is a market where they do long distance riding. And they certainly can't carry batteries with them. So I've got to buy the generator as well. You must buy the generator first. So how much would that cost me? The generator is $150. So really it's gonna cost me $500 if I want to be a long distance all illuminating, non-battery carrying cyclist. Yeah, yep. 
Oh, all right, Kerry, I've, I've, I've had enough here, mate. I'm going to say I'm out. I think that $500 is too much, and this is not a business for me. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Cheers. So, Kerry, tell me, what are you going to spend the $50,000 on, and how am I going to make money out of your invention? I would like to spend the $50,000 on a premises or a rented space, mm -hmm. and I would like to be in there for a year, and I'd like to produce lights. So we don't yet have anything to put on the shelf and sell through bike distributors or bike shops or... All I am is a bike mechanic and that's found a need for a product that I'm desperately trying to fill and I can't keep up with demand. Mm. Kerry, I think you're underselling yourself. You're more than a bike mechanic, you're an inventor. Yes, I am an inventor. And today you're pitching to and us. And I have lots of inventions. This is simply the only invention so that Kerry, I believe I was doing I can... some talking. Sorry, darling? I was doing some talking. Oh, my apologies. Thank you. Did he just call her darling? Yes, he did just call me darling. <laughs> <laughs> You're a brave man. <laughs> so, um, they do say, Kerry, that to be an entrepreneur is only 1% idea and it's 99% execution. I can see you're an ideas man, but what I can't see is a lot of commercial focus and commercial outcome. So, as such, I'm out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You know, I agree with Naomi, you're not just a bike mechanic. You're, you're clearly an expert in your field. Because I can buy a light for $15.99 in the mass market, and that is not your market, um, I don't think that's something that I can actually help you in and grow. But, you know, for those people who can physically ride 300 kilometres, I'm glad they've got you, but I'm out. Thank you. Kerry, I, you're fascinating. Um, I think you're the greatest asset and the greatest liability to this business. You have a very short attention span, and I think business needs consistency and longevity. And, you know, I think you and I working together in business would kill each other. I, I got to, you know, and I, because I have a very different approach, which is more around measured, consistent, uh, prioritization, let's channel the energy. Um, Kerry, for all those reasons, I'm out. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate that. It's been fantastic. I listen. I love your enthusiasm. You, there's there's a role out there for for someone like you. You're an unrepeatable miracle. Uh, but I'm not smart enough to help you in business, so I'm out. Thank you. Um, I just really appreciate the opportunity to come and talk to you guys. No, and, it's uh, good on you. Thank you Pleasure. again. Thank well, you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Good on you. Ride safely. Bye. 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 I'm speechless, actually. I'm speechless. <laughs> What's up, darling? Oh, you stuck. You should have done that to him. <laughs> I thought you'd leapt off the couch and... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>